Hey guys, it is me, Ali. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be keeping this intro short because I feel like this video is going to be very long. Today, I'm going to be testing out trendy TikTok things. Let's just get into it. Okay, the first trendy TikTok thing that I'm going to be testing out is in the category of hair. I'm going to be testing out the infamous heatless overnight curls by using a robe strap. <laughs> Who thinks of these things? So as you can see here, you're just going to take a robe. I'm using like 90% dry hair, 10% still a little bit damp hair. And you're just going to be twisting your hair around the robe and then tying it together on the bottom. It's super simple and it takes maybe two and a half minutes at best. best results and for optimal results it is suggested that you sleep with these so they are true overnight curls but you can do this in the morning let them set for a couple of hours and then take them out the same day because I was going to be doing overnight curls but I wasn't going to sleep for another couple of hours I decided to wrap mine up and do more of like a twisty braid crown for while I was up and then when I went to sleep I let them down again Okay, <laughs> good morning. I look crazy. First and foremost, these were super, super comfortable to sleep on. So that is a plus. I have tested out a ton of heatless hairstyles and I have like a whole playlist on my channel. So I will link that in the description below. And nine out of 10 of them are not comfortable to sleep in. This one was super, super comfortable to sleep in. It's very wild right now. So I'm just going to take the elastics out and see what we're working with. I will say, I know that this hack works. I've seen it work on people that I actually know, so I know it's not like edited, and it looks amazing. Probably the most beautiful heatless curls I've ever seen. I just don't know if it's gonna work with my specific hair type and texture. And I will say, I talked to my friend Jill, who is Disney Girl Beauty on Instagram. Shout out to her, because she is the one who kind of like promoted me to want to make this video because I really love the way her curls came out. She had mentioned that practice makes perfect. Her first try, they weren't really that beautiful. And she mentioned by like the second, third, fourth try, they came out much better. So I think with this specific hack, practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna undo these and we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. I'm really, really, really hoping for like those ringlet curls. They just look so beautiful. And again, shout out to Jill. She's gonna be doing like a little, I think an Instagram live story type deal or an IGTV on how she does them. So check that out if you're interested because hers came out the best I have ever seen. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I just like pull it out? No, I'm not gonna pull it out. I'm gonna do this nice and neat. Wow, what? Look at that. Okay, I definitely need to like play around with them and style them, but yes, look at that. 10 out of 10, a thousand out of 10, like a million out of 10. These are, yes, like it's a yes for me. I cannot get over how well this worked. And again, it was so super, super comfortable to sleep in. I will say again, for like the fifth time, broken record, I think practice will make perfect with these. They're not 100% where I want them to be, but they are 100% better than pretty much any heatless hairstyle I've tested in the past. So I'm giving this one again, two thumbs up. I really, really like it. Like, look at that, super bouncy, very curly, and I think it looks very natural, which is what I like. A lot of times when you test out heatless hairstyles, you get this very unnatural looking curl. With this one, it just looks like super, super natural. 
living for this, honestly. For the drink, I of course had to test out a Dalgona drink. However, I don't drink coffee. So even if I made it perfect and it tastes amazing, if I was to test it, I would not like it. So I'm doing a variation of the Dalgona coffee. I'm making a Dalgona whipped hot chocolate. Am I even saying that word right? If I'm not, I apologize. This one is pretty straightforward. I'm just getting whipping cream and I'm pouring in three fourths of a packet of dark hot chocolate, a Swiss Miss packet, my absolute favorite. And I whisk this together. Let me tell you, this is an arm workout. I whisk this together for I would say about four to five minutes until it got very fluffy and I had little stiff peaks. In true whipped beverage fashion, I'm taking a clear glass cup, I'm adding in some ice, pouring in some chilled milk. I personally like almond milk, but you can use whatever kind of milk works best for you. I know the original one is with whole milk, but again, whatever kind of milk works best for you. And then I'm taking a couple of little spoonfuls of the whipped chocolate deliciousness and pouring it right on top. Sorry, not sorry for this 39 second clip of this whipped iced hot chocolate. I know that's kind of like an oxymoron, but it just looks so beautiful. I get it. I totally get why this trend basically took over the world, definitely broke the internet and took over the world. It's just so pretty and so tasty, but aesthetically, like its aesthetics are on Point. Honestly, thank you TikTok. These have to go down as the prettiest drinks in all of existence. Now, full disclosure, I did try this out already. I made this a couple of days ago and it turned out really, really good. So I wanted to use it in this video. This is before I even knew I was gonna be testing out TikTok trendy things but yeah this is real good so basically you just take a straw and you mix it all together a little bit is coming down again <laughs> and then you just drink it like look at how beautiful that is <sighs> she's so pretty it gives like an ombre effect it gives like a nice little ombre effect and then you just sip it I can get down so hard with that. The chocolate, iced hot chocolate whipped situation tastes like the fluffiest, silkiest, creamiest chocolate pudding you've ever had. Like I think I'm gonna use this method <clears throat> to make chocolate pudding in the future because it is so good. And then when you add it with the milk and you mix it all together and the ice, oh man. It is a happy, happy time. I highly suggest everybody tries this one out. If you try it out, send me pictures on my Instagram. If you try any of these out, send me some pictures on my Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. And honestly, I just think you're going to truly, truly live your best life if you make this little drink or if you make any variation of this drink. I kind of want to just like whip everything now. I want to do like whipped matcha. I'll even try like whipped coffee, whipped hot chocolate, whipped strawberry milk. I saw that online as well and it looks really good, but yo. TikTok. I was super skeptical about this next one. It is a two ingredient mug cake. All you need is Oreos and some milk. You want to just crush your Oreos up and pour them into a cup, a microwave safe cup and then you want to pour in some milk. There really are no exact measurements. You kind of eyeball everything. You want it to be more cookie based than milk based. But once you get a quote unquote batter, you are ready to put it into the microwave and you want to microwave it for about a minute. If it's still very wet, you want to add some more Oreos into it. And if it's really dry, you can add some more milk. 
Honest and truthfully, I don't understand the sorcery, but it works. <laughs> it turned into a cake. This turned into a cake. Like, what even? Who was the first person that was like, let's crush up some Oreos, add some milk to it, throw it in the microwave, and see if it turns into a cake? Because, genius. The true test though is how it tastes. So we're gonna give this a little taste test in three, two, one. Whoa. It's super fudgy, it's very dense. It's not like a fluffy, fluffy, fluffy cake, although it looks fluffy, but it's so, so good. Oh my God, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a cake version of those Oreo crushable cream cheese, I don't know what they are. It's like Oreo cream cheese and you roll them all together, you make little balls and then you dunk them in chocolate. That is what it tastes like in a denser cake form, and I'm okay with that. This is actually, this is really good. This is easily one of the best hacks I have ever seen on the internet. It is very self-explanatory, so I'm just going to let the clip run, and you guys can watch what I'm doing, but never buying a chip clip ever again. Last but definitely not least, for the art, it's not so much a hack, more of like a DIY project. I'm going to be quote unquote testing out the acrylic pour. I have dabbled with this in the past and it was semi-successful but not super successful, so I thought I would give it another shot and give it another go. So you're just going to take some acrylic paint, whatever you have at your house. Unfortunately, with everything going on in the world right now, I couldn't go out and get pretty little acrylic paint. I only had red and black to work with, which not exactly what I wanted color scheme wise, but we're working with it. For this DIY project, you're going to take some acrylic paint, pour it into cups, then thin out some water. Then you're going to pour all of the acrylic paint into one cup. Then you're going to take whatever you're using to do your pour. I'm using a coaster, a wooden coaster, and you're just going to pour all of the paint over said item. step is just to gently move your item up down side to side if you want to add some more of the acrylic paint you absolutely can and just kind of layer it and keep moving it around until you are satisfied with your design Lastly, you want to leave it out to dry for several hours or until it is completely smooth to the touch. Okay, I know I said black and red is not my aesthetic and it is not but can we please just appreciate how stinking beautiful this is. Oh my Lanta, I'm just mesmerized by this. Several hours later and I'm so obsessed with this. Take a look. I wish I had different color acrylic paint 
because I'm not a huge fan of the black and the red. It's very dark. I would go for brighter colors, but this was kind of like a trial run to see if it worked and it worked i'm totally making like 20 more of these once i can go to the store and get a bunch of different acrylic paint and i'm gonna do like really really bright colored coasters these would be awesome to give as gifts whether you're doing on like a coaster you're doing a canvas whatever it may be i'm definitely doing the coasters the only thing i'm going to do next time and I'm still gonna do this time, I just haven't done it yet, is to put a sealant on it, whether it's Mod Podge or like a resin or whatever kind of top coat you have, just to give it more of a shine. But yo, <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever and it was super therapeutic and really fun to make as well. TikTok go off. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to see another version of this video. There are so many trendy food hacks, drink hacks, clothing hacks, life hacks, hack hacks out there on TikTok. And I would be very happy to film another one of these and make this into like maybe a little bit of a series because I had a lot of fun with this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you and I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Oh, hey there again, it's me. I was editing this video and then realized I cannot film a testing trendy TikTok things without including a trendy TikTok dance. Like what was I even thinking? So I put my son to sleep last night and I stood in front of a computer for far too long and tried to learn a TikTok dance. I would like to preface this by saying I was a dancer for 15 years of my life and these TikTok dances take some major skill. <laughs> Needless to say, this one was an epic fail. I was trying to learn Cannibal by Kesha. This was actually the fourth dance I tried to learn. I started off with the Renegade, which was mistake number one. Why did I decide to try out the hardest dance ever? <laughs> and it was just a fail. It's a fail on all accounts. So I just included this as a bonus footage for you to laugh at my expense. <laughs> Enjoy. Love you guys. Goodbye.